Now let's let's move on to the next regulation, and that is the regulation of the blood pressure. What will happen? What happen if the blood pressure drops or increased, and who is responsible? What what receptors are responsible for that? Okay, and that is the barrel receptors or the pressure receptors. Where are they located? They are located at the aortic arch and the carotid artery, which you've seen just now. The location of the these uh, parts mentioned. So the carotid artery is actually the artery in the neck, very very important artery that supplies blood to the head. And um, that's why when you see people, uh, they try to, those bad guys want to threaten, um, want to kill people, they will cut the neck, right? It's actually, they are cutting this carotid artery, right? So the artery that supplies blood to the head. So these receptors detect the pressure of the blood flowing through them and continuously send impulse to the cardiovascular center in the medulla oblongata to regulate the blood pressure so medulla oblongata is such an important part in the brain that has called that has got this uh, cardiovascular control center as well as the respiration control center now this is the term vasoconstriction and vasodilation cc constrict so you see the lumen gets smaller, vasodilation, the lumen gets bigger. So when an individual's blood pressure drops, for example, when there is serious bleeding, serious bleeding, that means the blood will flow out of the body. There's a cut, maybe there's an accident, so there will be drops in the blood pressure. So the barrel receptor in the aortic arch in the carotid and the carotid artery are less stimulated. So what will happen is that the cardiovascular control center in the medulla is less stimulated. So this will cause the artery to constrict. So we say arterial, arterial vessel constriction occurs. So this adds resistance to the blood flow, okay? Because we don't want the BP to drop so much, this will get smaller. So there is like resistance in the flowing of the blood within the vessels, and hopefully by this can increase the BP, and hence go back to the normal range. Now this is opposite when an individual's blood pressure is increased, especially during vigorous activities. What will happen is that the barrel receptors, which is in the aortic arch and the carotid artery, are very stimulated. So the cardiovascular control center in the medulla oblongata is much stimulated. So this will cause the artery to dilate. So the lumen gets bigger vasodilation. This will then reduce resistance. You see the word, the keyword resistance, vasodilation, vasoconstriction. So please take note of the keywords. So when the resistance of the blood flow reduces, what will happen is that there will be weak contractions of the cardiac muscles. Uh, therefore, this hopes to lower the BP and hence return to the normal range. Okay.